Hello everyone. Maybe it's because of the recent announcement that the Olympics will be in 2021, I don't know. I've been thinking of marathon lately and what people call hitting the wall when a runner will suddenly when a runner suddenly feel this lust of energy and and will to continue. And maybe it's because we are in days 14 or 15. I lost track of days. We, you know, two weeks in confinement and isolation and quarantine. Personally, and I'm sure I'm not the, the only one, I hit the wall. Because like many, the first few days we were on adrenaline. We need to organize everything. We need to plan. We need to figure out different ways of being the church and organize our lives and how we will do this and we'll do that. And so we were busy. We had all those things on our mind. And then ah, we discovered that this is not a sprint. It is a marathon. It will not be a question of days or even weeks. It will be a question of months. And at one point, and we say that, and but at one point it sink in. And we discover that we don't have the same energy, the same en interest, the same passion. We're tired all the time. And... We're not sure of anything else. We're not sure if there's still gas in the tank, if I may say. And yes, it's difficult. And I'm thinking, thinking of guys, I'm thinking of men who have been raised to be, to be tough, to be strong for their family, to protect them, to take care of them. And life was not, we know that life is not easy. So it's, it's a test of character. You know, the, 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 it's a challenge to be overcome. And many of us have hit the wall. I think of those who are, cannot achieve anything, cannot find a way to organize their day. Uh, because their brain has been there's recent there's there's a research about that our brain are slowing down in time of crisis it's working maybe 50 percent 70 percent of a normal yes at the wall I'm thinking of parents who love their children but are ready to really kill them and feel ashamed by, because they're having those feelings. Yes, they have hit the wall. There's so many of us who are desperate, ready to give up, don't know what to do, where, where, well, where to go, nowhere, because there's, we're asked to stay inside. And maybe that's why also uh, this passage from the second letter to Timothy, chapter 7, Verse, uh, chapter 4, verse 7, I'm sorry, came to my mind. And just between you and me, um, most likely Paul did not wrote that letter. It's someone who write, have, write, have written, sorry, have written in the name of Paul. So the author, let's call it the author. The author says, I fought the good fight, have finished the race, I have kept the faith. <sighs> We've never been promised to have an easier life because we believe in God, because we have faith. All that we have received is tool. And those tools, we have the choice to use it or not. And with these tools, the value, the beliefs that we have, the traditions that we have, well, we maybe can find back our rhythm, our pace, that 
is relevant during these times. We try to do all those things to keep the faith, keep the faith in ourselves that we are not bad people, we are not lazy, that we are not no good, no, we can do this in our own way. We have those resources inside of us. Faith in our fellow human beings, that they will do the right thing. The Maybe there's one or two over there not following the advices, but the wide majority is doing it. And keeping faith in God, who was there and in the past during major crisis and also during ordinary times. A God who does not act uh, ask us to be performers, to break records, to be better than ever. No. The God that knows us. Don't expect that. Just asking. Keep fighting. Try to stay on your feet. Continue this marathon at your own rhythm. Even if it's slower than usual, even you feel that everybody else is doing better, God does not care. Just putting one feet in front of another. The goal is to continue to know that we're not alone, as the new creed says. We're not alone in this. And when we are in need, we're not alone. We can look for help. And for this reason, below this message, I've put numbers of help lines for Quebec and Ontario. This is where I'm doing ministry. And there's no shame to admit that we need help. We need to reach out because, once again, the goal is to remember that we will cross the finishing line. This marathon will end and this, like everything else, will pass. I hope you take care of yourself, physically mentally, spiritually. I hope you take only a few moments to reach out to your loved ones, to your neighbors, to people in the community to find a way to be in touch. If not physically, there's phone, there's email, there's social distanciation. I hope you will find the energy and the strength and the courage to continue. I hope that I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.